Hi everyone, I'm Sventos. Welcome to the Tesseract. And tonight I'm going to be continuing the building of the USS Arizona. I'm just going to test the keyboard there. I need the space. Uh, so I've gone ahead and arranged all the items onto little cardboard pieces. So they're basically just ready for painting right now. I did do a video on it, although I kind of can't seem to find it. I think it's, it's probably on my laptop, so I will upload that later. A uh, fast motion video of me put, taking the components all off and putting it on the, uh, on the cardboard thing. So I will go to my building stream here. I'm going to be using this as my workspace. Oh, I should probably set this one up. Have a second camera ready to go here for another video of the speed of the of the speed build. I'm recording that. Okay, so that one is ready to go. So let's. Let's start with oh yeah, let's uh, start with this booklet here. Okay, so I took away all of the cannons. Let's take that. So pretty much everything here is gonna be gray. Um, I actually did write the numbers of the items so I can match them up later. And for some of them, I noted the colors now, although. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Not for all of them. I guess, you know, I could start with the, with the big piece here. As you remember, if you were here last time, uh, I, so far I've only painted the, uh, the little stand set. I haven't done a second one yet. Let me just get some double-sided tape. For it. I need the tapes around. Just if you're wondering, the music that I have playing right now is Voltava by Smetana. Uh, it's one of my favorite pieces, actually. Okay. So I will... Ah, I'll do this one later. Let's get some gray. Gray was F. And let's do H. Actually, I'll prepare H on this side. I will also grab some of these brushes. back. Oh, and I can also do the boats. I think the boats are all just standard gray. Just fix that there. Okay, so I think everything on, everything on this square can go into gray. Of course, the weapon tips are uh, the weapon tips are going to be silver, except for these. These turrets are going to be, I believe, flat black. Yeah, those are flat black. And then the these components here, the propellers. They are going to be red as far as I know, I think. Oh, no, that is wrong. They're going to be gold. They're going to be gold and silver. Oh, no, gold and red. Red and gold. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'll, I'll do those later. Let's focus basically on everything here. Oh, and let's check the rudder. 
I think the rudder was... Yeah, the rudder was red. So I can't do the rudder, and I can't do the propellers. Everything else should be fine. Okay, let's just open this so that I can put them back if I need them. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Well, you know, I will just, uh, uh, I'll just clean up a little bit here first. Okay. So I want to make, uh, basically I want to raise these ones as much as I can. So I'm going to make one for each color. This one back for now. And just to make sure that I'm using the same one for the same color again, I'm going to mark it with a permanent marker. There. There we go. Okay, so this one is going to be the gray that I'm going to use it, so I'm just going to. One at a time. Actually, you know what? Right now, I can manipulate it with my hands. Let's see if I can. Just Hmm. I'm actually quite liking these brushes. They have sort of like a because they're spongy, they're, they release just a little bit of paint, so you can really distribute it well. So you can give it that sort of brushed metal look. Okay, I'll put a little bit too much there, but make it go a long way. Oh, shoot. <laughs> ah, crap. Actually, you know what? I will just put that dry over there. Because I'm not, I'm not painting the bottom, so that's going to be fine.
Well, what's really cool about this is because the the plastic itself is gray. It was going into a slightly darker gray with the color. Well, actually, more of a closer to black, or yeah, closer to black gray than the brown gray that it's currently at. It's more of like a tan, tan gray plastic. But because the colors are really close together, you don't really need too too much of the gray. And if you kind of spread it really thinly, that the other one is sort of still visible underneath, gives it a bit of a like a metal discoloration kind of look. So it looks more more toned. Is this, is this working? Yeah, it's working. Just YouTube's having issues. Let me just refresh the stream. Hopefully this works. There we go. Oh, I think it's just the previews screwed up. It's ironic, actually, me saying shoot while painting and accidentally dropping a cannon. Okay. these brushes. Sponginess it lets you sort of texture things and it just just releases just as much paint as you need. I mean I, I do have to like refill because I'm not I'm not adding too much. But it's really cool. Anyway. So if you were wondering this is Okay, come on, which one is this? Continue. So this is the... Montu by... Serigin. Ser... Sering? Sering? I, I don't know. It's a production by the London... Uh, Philharmonic... No, London Symphony Orchestra. The other one was a Philharmonic.
That's looking. So that's the before and after. Oh, you can't actually see it because that, this this camera is a bit crap. Um, yeah, so this is the this is the before. Before and after painting, so it's slightly darker. Now I tried to clean up the burrs on these as much as I could. Uh, but like as you'll notice, there's still a bit of a burr on the back here. Uh, I couldn't exactly get to it because then I start cutting into the actual material of the rest of it. Uh, but I realized that all the places where these were attached to the little plastic frame thing are actually on the inside of the ship once finished. So no one's gonna see it. Like ever. Probably just like my stream right now. <laughs> um, you know what? I I'm gonna just keep on doing what I'm doing because I'm really enjoying just kind of you know doing stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Oh, I might have to deeper this one on the inside. Did not realize that it has bits of plastic, so it might not click on the inside. I think it connects to a flat piece. Oh, I just realized I'm using all these other cameras. I hope. Yeah, I think it's just the the two audio streams. Okay, good. That's good. Wait a second, I think. Ah. I think the. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, what was it? It's the audio. Yeah, let's turn those camera ones off. And... Wait, what? Bitrate zero? What is happening? Bitrate zero. An audio stream bitrate of what? How do you even check? Okay, I think that is. I 
If I change to that, does that fix it? Okay, it says excellent connection now, so that hopefully fixed it. Ah, uh, YouTube, I'm the bane of my existence. And we are down to the last cannon. I will just go to the workbench cam. Maybe we can just change it up a bit. pretty fast. This is the first one that I've done. And that one is... Oh, it's sticking a little bit to me. This one, this is the first one I've done, and this is the latest one I've done. So as you can see, it's gone much darker, and it's gone dark very quickly, so... This paint dries pretty fast. Just gonna shift all these out of the way. are nice and drawing. Now let me just verify with the booklet. So I'm gonna do these pieces and I'm gonna do these pieces next because they're also gray so that's these guys here. I think there's supposed to be four of them. Two of them are on this one here. So they are the same gray. Actually, I won't pick them up because I won't be able to put them down. And the fives I'm not painting because those are going to be, I believe, silver or... No, those are going to be flat black. So I'm not going to touch these right now. Uh, as for these ones, I can reach them from this end. These ones I can reach from that end. These ones I'm not painting right now. But let's start with these. Actually, you know what? I will remove these guys because they are very unique pieces, so I'll be able to find them later. And because I have the holes, I'll be able to know which ones are missing there. Okay. I think these ones I will have to paint in sort of two steps. Actually, possibly three steps. I'll paint the tops and actually two steps. Because I can paint this way completely and then I can pick them up later when it's dry and do the sides. So I will do that.
chose. Oh yeah, so um, this music by the way is Mon 2 a concerto in violin concerto in D oh, I wanna say minor. It, it just showed up but uh, I didn't catch it fully. I think D minor. Now, originally my plan was for music to use music from the 1920s uh, up to 1940s, but the music I was looking up is not in the public domain and the video would get struck. I mean, I'm not monetizing or anything right now because I don't have enough views, but YouTube still causes problems with uh, that. Little particles of dust or something. I probably like lint actually. That'll be fine. Don't mean to sign what sound like the acrylic drinker, but nah, it'll be fine. So I will put these ones aside. Okay, now let's go on these ones. Okay, you know what? I'm not liking this piece of music anymore. It's going on a little bit too long, so I'll just go to Strauss Vienna Bonbon Waltz. I 
I'm just remembering, I think I started talking about that. I was originally wanting to do music from the 1920s and 19, up to 1940s because that's when this particular ship was in service. But yeah, I wasn't able to because a bunch of the music that I liked has not actually yet entered the public domain, so yeah. And apparently it's very weird with the United States because in a lot of countries it has, but with the United States, where YouTube is based at, it has not. And uh, yeah, I would, I would get struck. I think I actually said that already. You know what, I'm just gonna remove the noise and suppression. Actually, noise suppression, I'll leave. There, that way the audio should be better, hopefully. YouTube's notices are just annoying. Like it notifies me, I look up and I'm like, yeah, okay, I got it. And it just won't go away until you physically click on it, it just stays, it doesn't do auto fade. This is way better, uh, or way easier for the second coat, because you can just you can just uh, hold it. Because like the first coat is already dry, you can just hold it and just touch it up. Whereas when you're painting the whole thing, it's just annoying. Especially if you can't hold it because you don't have a thing to hold it. <laughs> Pretty sure I've seen people uh, when they're painting these there, they have like little clamps and things. are probably gonna be like a tab. Um, okay, so D. All of the both exteriors seem to be 
D. Yeah, like everything both related it seems to be D. So D is flat white. Okay, that makes sense. If the other were white wooden boats. So I will put the gray away. I'm thinking now I probably will not be able to reuse these. They're probably a single use kind of thing. With with the Oh great, sorry. <laughs> Forgot about that camera. I probably won't be able to reuse the sponge ones because they are sponge. Uh, the only way to clean these types of paints is with a thinner, like I'm using alcohol, 99% pure alcohol, and it it uh, does wipe away from these ones, like I used this one last time and washed it in alcohol and it's brand new. But this one, because of the sponge, the sponge would end up getting like bitten up and corroded by the alcohol, so I don't think I'll be able to reuse these. But after a long ado, <laughs> let's change up the color to yeah let's do white and white was d i believe yep 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 d white let's pull up another one of these and we'll just call this one white. Although I'm just realizing I I shouldn't even write bother writing that because I'm not gonna be able to use it after I've done this. Okay, now with these ones you gotta make sure you shake them real well because as you might have noticed there was a layer of separation, so you wanna make sure you get Get it really nicely shaken. Shaken, but not stirred. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Ha <laughs> ha Let's see, can we improvise anything on the room? Yeah, I have no idea. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna get painted either way. Maybe I can just paint it right on there. Actually, I'm painting on things. Let's try it right here. And this is Vivaldi's Spring from the Four Seasons. That's not gonna work. Okay, this one's gonna be another one of those two step projects. So I'm gonna do the bottoms of the boat. And then, oh, I probably shouldn't paint the pin. We'll do the bottoms of the boat and then we'll come back and do the sides. Now with this one, I kind of want to, I'm, I'm purposely actually giving it a bit of a texture because these are going to be wooden boats, so if I give it sort of a groove kind of thing going on, it can be like actual paint slathered over top of wooden planks. Okay, 
Actually, you know what? I will move that over here. Oh, okay, this one has stuff and that one doesn't. I have no idea what these are. Oh, it's probably going to be the base where the boats are. So they can be taken off and put onto. Let me see, what color is that? Like, I know all the boat pieces are white, but what about that? Is that like a black rubbery on the inside or. That's white as well. Oh, that goes on top of the boats. Okay, so it's gonna be for the big ones. It's gonna go on top. I guess kind of like supplies or something. So this again is gonna be one of those two part. <laughs> gonna have to hold it in and paint that and paint the rest in later.
Cool. And the other one. Okay. Cool. This is really coming together. <laughs> slowly, but slowly, but coming together. Okay, let's move it that way. This one, okay, I'll have to leave this for later because I have no idea how to hold them right now to paint them because they're curved all over. Okay, I think that's everything white that I have to do right now. So let's try to really introduce some color into this. Uh, since I'm already on this one, okay, I'll put this one aside for now. Put that one right away there. For one for right now, gray as well. I will grab another one and let's do some red now. Okay, so the rudder is supposed to be red. Oh, actually, I should come up with a way to hold this first. Okay, I'll put off the, the red until later. Uh, let's do these really quickly in black. And then I will do the the deck in tan. Yeah, I can sort of hold it by these or 
or even here. That would probably even work better. And then I can just grab it and put it down. That, that works. Okay, so I'll put this here for now. Let's do the black. And that is A. A, and I'm also gonna need I. And in the meantime, I will put actually silver is gonna be coming out, and the white and gray I will put away. Okay, uh, so let's do the black first. Exactly the size of the sponge. So just go in and sponge it up. And that is colored on all sides real quick. Okay. Now I also have already the black. Here, I'll just touch this one up a little bit. There. And this isn't technically even the model, because the model's gonna be sitting on this. I want it to look nice. So once I have a house and I have a big living area, I can actually display it. As like this was the first model that I had in 20 years. Okay. I think the last model that I made actually well, the last model I remember finishing that didn't get banged up as things do when you're a kid. Uh, it was a model car, it was like a vintage like nineteen thirties, nineteen forties vintage car. I think it was Green had the, the big um, engine compartment in the front with the side panels. And I think it was green with like a convertible thing in the back. And, uh, and like one of those uh, trunks 
and I think it had a spare tire in the back. I, I'm not exactly sure which one it was, but that was the, the last one that I completed. Uh, I was also working on an F16, I believe, a long time ago. <laughs> And uh, that one, before I was able to complete it, it uh, fell off a uh, shelf and got bagged up, all sorts, everything got torn to shreds. I wasn't really able to salvage it, so it was getting tossed. Now that I think of it, I could have done, uh, I could have done like a crashed, could have completed it and did some damaged stuff and do some cool painting on it, but I didn't, because I was like, you know, at the time so okay so now we'll do this one I can hold this way this one I can hold this way let's do the smaller one with a bigger area first and once again just gonna make sure that I shake this up gonna make. make sure everything gets nice and shaken sometimes it, these are tough to open because they've been sitting on the shelf in the store for probably years uh, model building isn't really something popular uh, so we'll go back to this camera here It's a really nice color, this tan. supposed to be the same color or if they will cutouts are supposed to be a different color so I'm just gonna avoid them for now and I can always go and touch them up later. Okay, this is... Okay, I'm gonna try one of the other brushes. This is taking really long with this brush. It's, it goes on nice and everything, but it's taking really long. Uh, so I'm gonna grab one of these. There we go, that's much better. 
made quicker because I can always go in later and touch it up. But right now I just need a base coat so it bond the color to the plastic. For the next stream, I'm gonna swap the webcam with the like the webcam I'm currently using for the workshop cam. I'm gonna swap that one with my other uh, action cam because I think I'm kind of wasting that one right now on recording pretty much an empty workspace because I'm working over here, whereas the area is mostly underneath the green. So this one. This one's got a different angle and I'm focusing more on it. a different color later. We'll see. that uh, the, the music that's currently playing right now is uh, Eine Kleine Nachtmusik by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. I didn't even notice that it was uh, the change because it just kind of became background noise at this point.
Definitely have to repaint that. Because I'm pretty certain this is supposed to be black. I think it's like a flat black as well, so. I might have to do some scraping with an exacto knife because I'm pretty sure this one's gonna dry glossy. Actually, never mind. It dries really flat. Because like a lot of it is already pretty much dried. Well, maybe that means I didn't put enough color in there. You know, every time that I've seen a uh, an advertisement for any sort sort of a Mozart concert from like the Philharmonic or whatever, they always use Eine kleine Nacht Musik, and they always play random sections. They play this section, and then they play the beginning section, but they sort of sporadically swap between them, so it almost gives an illusion that it's like two completely different pieces of music. Definitely gonna have to clean that up. Actually, maybe not. I think I think one of the oh no, one of the cannons goes on top, but I think there's probably another level or something around here. We'll see.
Okay, I will switch the brush back to the little one with the sponge because I'm getting into more sort of detailing areas. So I know that the cannon goes across it, but I still want it to look nice underneath that it's consistent with the rest of the deck. Although consistent is relevant because <laughs> I've just switched like between two different brushes, so consistency is gonna be a little bit off. Anyway. So again, I think this is covered, so it's going to be okay. Okay, I guess that camera filled up. <laughs> or ran out the battery, I, one or the other. That's fine. I think it'd be really cool to meet someone who actually served on this ship and just like to get some stories from them, learn like what it was all, all like. I mean, I realize there's a lot of documentaries out there, but like talking to someone firsthand would be just amazing. I think I've read a statistic, I, I'm not quite sure if actually <laughs> if I read this or if I just, I think it's probably true as well, even if I didn't read it, or even if there is no like research on it, but I'm pretty sure that World War II, it's one of those wars that we have enough movies and television series and everything like based around the war and documentary footage that it, like if you watched it all, it would take you longer than the actual war lasted. Which is really, really weird. But I mean, like when you, when you add it all up, there's pretty much so many sides of the stories, uh, different like accounts, the same events recounted by different people. So there's like a lot of footage of it. So I guess it does make sense, but from a, from just a, you know, a simple statement of like, from a cinematic point of view, there's enough, there's like more footage than the actual war, it's just kind of weird. I don't know, I just find it interesting. Also, I might be getting high from the fumes here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I think that's good for now for this piece. Well, yeah, more than that. I think that's gonna, that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna attach here. This one I can just hold here. Let's do the, the detail bits first. Ah, crap. It's just going on a weird angle, so it actually pushes me right into the details I'm trying to avoid. So, fun little fact about paint paint actually goes on. Well, at least on the wall, it goes on about two shades darker than what it actually is. Or it then looks when you when it's wet. So, right now I'm putting on, it looks more like a ochre yellow, but it's gonna dry and it's gonna be like a sandy brown. Which, I mean, some of this, some of this piece already is. So, uh, it's a little bit darker. It's gonna have to get darker as it dries. And then once I add another coat, or if I decide I might throw in a little brown in there in places, if my technique is. No. I'm gonna practice the technique. I might be able to add some multi tonal thing there. Okay, I'm gonna need some really thin brushes.
and we're gonna have to repaint a bunch of this. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over back to the bigger brush and finish the rest because I'm not really having to avoid too much else. But I guess I could just repaint. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, mine, maybe you have to avoid that one. Painted over because it's the same texture. They're just supposed to imply that there's like a hatchway or something. It's quite interesting how far uh, naval warfare. It's gotten it's only like was this like 70, 80 years ago, World War One. They were still using essentially like tin cans with a barrel lid on top. Like it was a wooden deck. And it was a metal ship, but it was like fairly, fairly primitive metal, easily bent compared to today's standards, where they can use like. Titanium reinforced steel and stuff. And like nowadays, we have materials that are essentially able to like withstand a nuke, which is just incredible. Because like back in those days. Like a whole fleet would get wiped out. No, we just sort of shake it off. <laughs> Pretty funny. Well, not funny, ha ha, funny like, huh, that's interesting.
It for the tan. Is that what it's called? Tan? Yeah. Okay, it's not touching anything, that's good. That is it for the tan. Superstructure deck that that's well, it's not that one, that is
Okay, let's add some more music to this. Um, see where was I? I was. Huh. Right, where's the music? <laughs> For me, the organ, really this this particular actual piece, probably because of the organ, it sort of evokes like I associated with movies like Frankenstein or like the Phantom of the Opera, some like monster film with the mystical elements with the that kind of like horror motif. I think it's just just the organ, the organ itself. It's uh, it's got a very unique gothic feeling to it.
Whoops. Okay, that wraps up this gray piece here. This is gray, this is gray, and then that all goes into this part, which also happens to be gray. So this goes like that. Goes 
like that, like that. Like that. And then this goes on top, right through here. So this whole thing is gonna be gray. But yeah, I really don't feel like doing it right now. So I will do a different portion of it. So it's got how it's gonna get built. Okay, and then we have so much gray. <laughs> I kind of want to change it up a bit. Let's see, J, where is J? D, H, F, A, J. <laughs> okay. So I get to do some airplane work. So on the actual plane itself is just the tail fins are gonna be yellow. Actually, I think it's yeah, it's both the end. Okay, so I'm gonna do that with a yellow. I was gonna say with another another micro brush foam for the yellow. So I'll prepare that. This I'll just put back. Where is the other? Ah, and then these wings are gonna be yellow as well. deeper that first. So again yellow. And while I'm at it, might as well deeper. Perfect. Okay. Shake, 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 shake. Look at that, that is beautiful. Look at the, look at the color, just, just gloss yellow. 
figured it was gonna be like canary yellow or something like that. But no, it's just yellow. Perfect, I wasn't like smudging on anything. Okay, now how am I gonna do this? coats because the yellow and red the colorants are very transparent so you need to layer it up and you can actually see here I have to do two like I have to do either two or three coats or I'm gonna have to do like a really thick one. for the yellow for the time being unless I find oops, unless I find something else that goes yellow but I don't think there is such a look. No. 
no yellow anywhere. Do some silver. So the anchors, which I think I've kept on the same piece, they are all there. We go. So the anchors are all silver, and when I should detach them from the piece, I'll just have to touch up that little bit on the side. So I will do the old stabity stabity. Actually, I could probably rest it there. Yeah, I'll rest it there when I finish. So let's do that. Out of the way, yellow away, and it was H which I prepared here. Silver, so I'm gonna be probably just uh, finishing up the silver piece here and then calling it for this stream. I've been going for about two hours now, so. Yeah. I'm gonna wrap it up and then continue. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, you probably won't be able to show the inside. Yeah, it would spoil. It's like quick silver almost. <laughs> it's really cool metallic. Because I think this actually might have. I don't know how they make it. They might have bits of silver in, or at least some sort of metallic. Glitter material. That is so awesome. It's like the silver blood from uh, from what's its face, The Invisible Man. It was a good show. I think these, these pieces are going to be actually visible, but this one's probably going to glue onto the back of the ship somewhere. Working with the silver, let's see, is there anything else to work? So that's H. Okay. Hmm. Big antenna pieces are oh, these ones.
the propellers on the planes are silver. Yeah, it's too tiny for right now because I had I had that wet piece still. Let's see what else. What else is silver? The weird straight up and down thingy. Oh, and this one as well. The hands of this are silver. And this left and right thingy is silver. So let's put that back. Let's see, what about these? 39. 39. Oh, those are not. Those are. Those are gray. Okay, so I can paint this one and the tips of this big one. for that one. I don't know if it's all of them or is it just the top? Oh, just the top is silver. Okay, good thing I checked. So just this top here is silver. Basically the whole thing is silver, but the inside is going to be hidden away, so... If I, if I screw it up on the sides, it's going to be fine, because it's going to be covered. So I'll just go...
think that's all the silver pieces for now and until I get to do those. I'm pretty sure these are still... Wait, oh, they're dry. Okay, cool. So I can finish those as well. I'll just move... Ah, we're gonna put this. Okay, I'll put it on the side here. So it's elevated and doesn't fall. Okay. your time. Yeah. Definitely to let it dry a bit longer. Okay, so I will just uh, so I just gotta let the stuff dry now before I can move on. I don't, I don't really feel like doing a lot of more of the gray and the black right now, so I will save it for another stream. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this stream, and I will see you next time when I continue painting the USS Arizona. Till next time, see you later.